semesters ago, I did a paper on um, Emily Dickinson, and it was specifically about faith and doubt in her poetry and how those two showed up a lot, um, and it seemed like they kind of conflicted. So where I usually start is I go to our library um, website and go to databases. Uh, and I usually just do MLA, and so I go to the A to Z database listing and go to the N and down to MLA International Bibliography. It's really handy for English papers. And so um, I would just type in Emily Dickinson, and I always forgot to spell her last name, so hopefully that's right. And Faith, I would just do one of them first and then. Um, look for another one. Oh, and it's usually helpful to read a biography first, too, um, which I think is what I did last time. And I'm trying to remember what I used last time for biography. Oh, I think it was. Hmm, no, it wasn't. I will go to subject then. And click on English and Modern Languages and look for. Oh, it was Dictionary Library Biography. And so I can type in Emily Dickinson here, which did not find that. Let's see. because I didn't click on this, maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then I can go to one of these, and it usually lists a bunch of writings and letters and stuff, and then it gets to the biography um, further down, like right here. Um, and so this talks like her about um, her father Edward being really religious and somewhat controlling a lot of times, um, which is one of the things used in my paper. Um, and he was a strong Calvinist, and so this um, article right here, my faith that a, that dark adores Calvinist theology and the poetry of Emily Dickinson might be useful, but it looks like it doesn't have the full text. But you can check Journal Finder. And sometimes it'll give you a website that you can look at, like right here. But if you don't want to use that, then you can go to the side. Um, and click on linked full text. And you can also click peer review journals and it will limit your search just to um, stuff that has like PDF files and things like that. Okay, so then it narrowed down my result list just to 25 because it's all things that have, well, no, it didn't. Okay, there we go. And then click on this one and it'll load again. So now there's only, I think, three.
And I'm going to click on PDF full text for this one. Oh, and you can look at, to make sure that this has maybe what you're looking for, you can go to like subject terms, and sometimes it has an abstract, which this one doesn't, but an abstract will give you like a little summary of what um, the article is about. And it looks like this is the article maybe. Um, and then if I wanted I could add to a folder and that would save um, this article in the folder for me so whenever I log back in I can look at it and you can also go to site and sometimes it'll have yeah like right here it has all the different citations already for you so I could just copy and paste this MLA citation um, to a Word document and have it ready for whenever I do my paper um, so now I'm going to search doubt not that, it's not a word. Doubt. And it didn't come up with anything. Well, because I still spelled it wrong. I'm going to spell it wrong. Um, and this one doesn't look like it. Is there anything about Emily Dickens? Oh, maybe it does. Yeah. Just gotta put this in my folder to look at later. I'm gonna go back to that other article that I was looking for and the um, journal finder to see what the volume number is. Which is this one. And it's in journal number 32 from 1976, which is a bit old, so will probably be very difficult to find online. So I'm going to do Emily Dickinson and religion now and see what that pulls up. And I'm going to go back and do the link full text again. And reviewed, peer reviewed articles. And this article sounds helpful. Performing for God and maintaining in his absence. Emily Dickinson's life and death and giants. I click PDF full text. And something else I can do is search the library catalog right here. I can do advanced search or I can limit it to um, I can narrow my results and click on American literature oh here's advanced search right there. Um, 
um, here's a book called Emily Dickinson, Daughter of Prophecy. And it says it's an ebook. So, let's see. And I can go to catalog record, and at the bottom, I think it has a link to the ebook. Let's see, no results were found. Let me type in the title again. Yeah, I'm gonna add this to my folder. Yeah. <laughs> 